Good evening. My name's... Come on, guys, let's not kid around. You know what my name is by now. <laughs> Welcome to Live on Bowen Series 3, the Halloween special. <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Trick or treat. Yes. Guys, have I got a treat for you. Oh. Tonight on Live on Bowen, host of The Mole, Shurit Taft, comedy from John Doerr, and music from Jordan Walker. Now, yeah. yeah, guys. That's more of a trick, really. Before I give you your real treats, Heyman, who are you dressed as? Uh, who is Heyman? <laughs> I am Dracula! Of course you are. Duruk, uh, who well, are you dressed as? Well, uh, I am uh, Michael Jackson's thriller video with the right. werewolf jacket but the zombie makeup because this show doesn't have a budget for werewolf makeup. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Duruk. Michael, which Halloween character are you here? Oh, yeah, Halloween. That's, that's what it is. I'm not Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> role playing right now. That's not what's happening at all. <laughs> he just had a big night on the town last night, yeah, that's I think all. So. <laughs> Are you feeling okay? I am. What? All right, moving along. <laughs> moving along. What have you come dressed as? Uh, guys, I thought that was obvious. I'm TV's Aaron McCarthy. <laughs> From Melbourne to you, it's live on Bowen! <laughs> There's been a lot happening in news since we've been off the air. Uh, for instance, this story caught my attention. An Oxford University student has found that women in a study find kissing to be more important than men do. I bet that comes as no surprise to some of the men here, but uh, <laughs> men find kissing a little bit more like a car key. All right, useless by itself, but it gets you into something nice. <laughs> Loop, loop. <laughs> it's better. Um, every, is everybody excited about Melbourne Cup? Are you guys excited about Melbourne Cup? I'm excited about Melbourne Cup. The race that stops a nation is only one week away. Which, ladies, that's good news. That means that you can still have time to go out and buy those amazing glamorous shoes that you'll be carrying in your hand on the stumble home. <laughs> All right, apparently there's been allegations already. There's been some drug cheating after one of the horses grew antlers and flew away. <laughs> now, guns are in the news. Do you hear about the guns? Guns are in the news, not these ones. <laughs> Different guns. Companies in Alabama are preparing to fight the controversial new take your gun to work law. Employment relations experts predict that this could cause some unnecessary Firings. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back home, you've heard about this one. Tony Abbott has been in the news saying that the relationship between bushfires and climate change is complete hogswash. His environmental minister for change, Lord Voldemort, agrees. <laughs> Speaking of scary, actor Tom Hardy. Do you guys remember Tom Hardy? He was the guy who was in the new Batman movie with the mask. He was Bane in The Dark Knight Rises. Remember him? OK, well, he's now going to be playing the lead in the new Elton John movie. Hardy said the transition wouldn't be difficult because Bane, like Elton, breathes heavy around muscular men. <laughs> Hardy was uh, cast after the role. Uh, somebody asked him when he was auditioning, do you like lettuce? Strangely, weird. Uh, to which he replied, no, I'm a rocket man. <laughs> For the people who didn't get that, he said, I'm a rocket man. Still didn't get it. <laughs> All right. And finally, this November, Perth is set to become the first Australian capital city to get free Wi-Fi across its entire CBD. Not to be outdone, Adelaide has made its own plans for a CBD. <laughs> and it's all part of the plan to promote what was uh, recently voted Perth's number one tourist activity, getting flights out of Perth. <laughs> Remember, we're coming to you live from Bowen Street in the Melbourne CBD. You can get in touch with us live during the show, and here's how you can do it.
Start on your computer and then jump onto the Live on Bowen Facebook and Twitter pages. Tell us what you think of the show or don't. Visit our website for more behind the scenes info at liveonbowen.com. It's time for a brand new segment we call We Meme Business. Meme. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Here's how it's going to work. Each week we'll post a photo on the Live on Bowen Facebook page. Then it's up to you guys to write the funniest meme that you can think of. If you don't know what I'm talking about when I say meme, Google meme and then proceed. <laughs> the most humorous will win a fabulous prize. Here's this week's photo. All right, and the winners, uh, first up, we'll go with uh, Tim Burns with squinting hard to make gender roles blur. <laughs> Next up we have Paul Brisk with his entry <laughs> and then there's Brett Ramsey with, how can you have global warming when I know the world is flat? <laughs> the winning meme this week was by Sonia Lucas with, so you're telling me I put my right hand in, then do the hokey pokey? <laughs> Congratulations, Sonia, you've won the opportunity to have your meme read out on television. I hope you're recording this. For your chance to win a fabulous prize, head on over to our Facebook page and tell us What's the memeing of this picture? All right, that's for next week, so make sure you get on and do that one. Now, taking a bite out of Halloween mysteries, it's Dracula. For thousands of years, I have induced data in hundreds of people all over the world. But there is no longer a market, you see. The only thing that scares people these days is tram inspectors. <laughs> and I will only stoop so low. I want to get to the bottom of this change in society, find out why people are not scared anymore. So my good friend, Heyman, with whom I play Scrabble on Tuesday nights, <laughs> has allowed me to investigate via the medium of community television. <laughs> You would think at Halloween that things would be easier, but these days I try to scare the children, but it simply won't work. I go, poo. And all they do is take a photo to Snapchat to their friends. <laughs> I had the Snapchat, but Frankenstein kept sending me pictures of his zombie. <laughs> I blame that sparkly vegetarian Edward for ruining my reputation. <laughs> the thing is, I am the one who gets scared of the kids, mostly by how little the teenage girls are wearing. <laughs> it, it is a consolation to me that the fathers also look scared because they have to accompany their near naked 16 year old daughters. They look like, um, what is your word? Ah, uh, uh, yes. Pips. <laughs> I have also tried to scare adults. I will give them a big boo. Nothing. Five minutes later, they get a call from the landlord. Let's just say, it was lucky they were wearing brown pants. I realize I no longer want to be scary. I want to settle down one day and have little Draculas and Draculettes. This year, I tried to be welcoming. I offer them the treat, but they don't want that. I thought candy was dandy, but apparently, an iPhone 5 with Candy Crush is better. Huh. Huh. Why was Halloween even invented? I never really listened in history class. I always preferred biology. <laughs> I think trick or treating was invented by dentists when business was slow. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Perhaps I should just sit back and enjoy retirement and try some cooking. Oh, I really love to eat spaghetti and garlic bread. Well, for me, that's just spaghetti and toast. <laughs> or maybe I can try some traveling, coffin carpentry, or I'll just volunteer at the blood bank. <laughs> Dracula. Coming up after the break, zombies. You're watching live on Bowen.